Here we're going to begin on the uh, muscle-based rig and uh, this involves first of all establishing the parent bone because all these muscles we're going to place on the face or they're actually bones but they act like muscles uh, need to be parented otherwise it's not going to move with the rig. We also nominate the mesh and nothing else begins we uh, make sure we show the wire uh, frame uh, because uh, we want to see deformation and we want to align things properly. This is the uh, muscle wizard and in the rollovers as we have a look will reveal all the muscles. Now the wizard, you don't have to use a wizard but it's very useful because it uh, names the muscles, it uh, reflects them and uh, it also enables the uh, rigging with a simple double click of the muscle wizard window and we're just play we're replicating the uh, illustration here right clicking and, and pressing enter uh, the re there's a there's a requester that you can't see that says do you want to reflect bones uh, it's very simple we just we click yes or press enter we're doing the corrugator now the corrugator is responsible for the uh, wrinkling of the brow and we're doing it uh, very simple. We could have more if we want. We can uh, add more. We, we're not limited to the number of bones in the wizard. This is a basic uh, sine qua non, the, the number that is needed for good facial animation. Uh, but you can add or you can subtract. You may not need this many muscles. There's going to be about 110 of them and here where uh, the levator goes up uh, through the nasolabial fold uh, to the uh, ridge of the nose and uh, we can do sneers with that and now we're doing the lips. The lips, is quite, the lips are quite important because <laughs> obviously uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of connections at the corners and there's going to be some, uh, there might be some issues with skinning if uh, it wasn't for the uh, software. It would uh, take a lot of time. Here we're doing the filtrum, which is going to um, uh, correct that interpenetration of the teeth problem by creating a skin sliding effect. So not only do we uh, get the musculature um, replication, we get a skin sliding with this system. Now we're doing the zygomaticus uh, major, which comes down through the chin. Now we're doing the uh, actual uh, masseter, uh, which is, uh, corresponds to the jawline. And the depressor, which is uh, handy when lowering the lip or for lip curls, lower lip curls. Uh, next, uh, we're connecting them with a gel. And these muscles correspond to uh, human faces, but there are also analogs on animals and creatures. So this isn't limited to uh, humans. We can extend these, uh, this procedure to, to um, rig any uh, animal, really, because the, the musculature is pretty much the same. And uh, you just have to identify these muscles and uh, stretch them accordingly. Now, don't forget about the foreshortening. So if you're looking straight on, um, the two points may seem close together, but when you do the lateral, they're quite a distance apart. So that's why on the right side of the wizard, we have the uh, lateral view, or the three-quarter view, so you can see what you're doing. Because uh, there might be some confusion as to what's linking what, but I think it's pretty clear from the, the diagram what you should be doing. This is uh, pretty damn simple. It's a no-brainer, you don't have to think much. Um, the question is, uh, you just have to make sure that they're more or less aligned, uh, these controls. They don't have to be exactly aligned. If you're anal about it, you could uh, do uh, Control A and uh, or Alt A and uh, use that to align them exactly, but it's not really necessary because the software uh, combines them and aligns them perfectly anyway. We're stretching it over here. Now we're using um, Make Normal to Surface, which is useful in our muscle group rollout. And we're aligning these for the sneer near the nose. 
and now you see a lot of controls near the lip corner and we have to uh, make um, it's a special consideration for the lip corner and you'll see why later and uh, there's more aligning it's very useful because we've got uh, green red we can reflect green to red so we only need to concentrate on one and then we can go to the collar and just paste green to red and you'll get perfect symmetry the uh, middle bones are colored uh, aqua and so are their controls and whenever you make a combination of different colors that'll it'll be blue and with the same color they'll be that color so there we're pacing uh, green to red so now we're almost done here it's just a matter of tidying it up making sure the things are pretty much aligned and soon we'll be ready to uh, start rigging which is involving double clicking the muscle wizard window and everything will be done for you uh, but before that uh, we don't want any controls to separate it because then they won't be linked up so if they're more or less aligned then that's fine the last thing we're doing is a nose it's uh, useful this, uh, for center wrinkles and uh, frowns and things like that uh, although normally you wouldn't move the nose um, you know much in a realistic subject it's still necessary for full animation so here we're more or less aligning it to follow the lines the flow lines of the mesh um, obviously you follow the principle the animation should be along those uh, mesh lines flow lines um, and pretty much you don't have to be too concerned about the technicalities and uh, when you do this you'll get used to what's needed for your particular project and uh, that's pretty much it we've done the double click it's going through its motions and pretty soon we'll get a fully rigged armature there you go of course there's some residual uh, skinning um, from the chin don't worry about that now notice that I've uh, exposed the boundaries of the lip it controls don't forget in fact these are C type sliders these controls so they have boundaries and now we're positioning them because there are so many of them at an awkward angle uh, that's going to happen all the time so that's why I have exposed the um, the boundaries just for the case just for the for the um, sake of positioning them and then you can hide them later and uh, see it's not moving those even though we've done that of course it's not moving because we have not yet connected the the lip movement to the jaw uh, control we're going to do that now which is very simply done we pick the master control and the slaves which are left and right the lip corners and as you'll see you'll get two selected and now we're going to wire to the lateral the X to the lateral and the vertical and uh, we'll make it a weight of 0.2 it's as simple as that and it's done and as you'll see as we move the jaw down those uh, lip corners are moving along with it so that's pretty much all we need to to do and the next thing uh, yeah, the last thing to do is to, to skin it as you'll see the diagram has provided you with uh, uh, what it should look like if it doesn't look like that you've done something wrong you have to start again um, because there's no point skinning skinning is going to take uh, 10 to 15 minutes you don't want to waste your time so before we do the skinning we're just tidying up a few things see that control is too far out so we use uh, make normal surface we reflect onto the red and I think uh, one final check and we're ready to skin Now, as I said, uh, this the skinning is auto skinning, um, but it does take a while. It can take at least ten minutes, um, but you can um, put on the Mozart, have a cup of coffee, or do something while that happens. Add the skin modifier. That's it, and uh, we're done.